Hello and welcome to Replacement Player Baseball. Today the Cubs are going to go to Cincinnati to face the second place Reds for three game series on the road. The Cubs come in 20 games up in the Central Division standings and with a magic number of 23, which along with the Dodgers is the lowest number in Major League Baseball. So the Cubs, here in early August, looking to see if they can cut that magic number down significantly with this three-game series against the Reds. Cubs sending Brandon Woodruff to the mound. He's making start number 25. With a 5-8 and eight record, he has a 421 ERA and a 132 whip. Cubs lineup will include Horner, Grisham, Correa, Rizzo, Bryant, Harper, Santana, Amaya, and Woodruff batting ninth. Wade Miley is on the mound for the Reds. Making start number 23, he has a 9-6 and six record with a 526 ERA and a 142 whip. The Reds lineup will include Van Meter, Aquino, Mustakas, Gregorius, Castellanos, Suarez, Barnhart, Akiyama, and Wade Marley batting ninth. It is 75 degrees today, and the wind is blowing out to right at 9 MPH, and we are ready to get started on the riverbanks of the Ohio River here in Cincinnati, Ohio. The Cubs come into play today 20 games up on the Cincinnati Reds. However, having lost two of their last three at their previous stop in Miami on this road trip. The Reds also come in on a five game slide and trying to do a course correction of their own here against the first place Cubs. Nico Horner now stepping up to the plate, facing off against Wade Miley. Horner taking ball one. We need to switch this over to one pitch mode. Here comes the pitch. Horner's going to ground it up the middle. Second baseman has it. The throw over to first, and that's out number one. Grisham now the batter with one out, nobody on. One and two is the count. Here's the pitch to Grisham. He's going to pop it up. Foul territory, third base side. Coming over, the third baseman makes the play in front of the dugout for out number two. Correa now batting with two outs, nobody on. Wade Miley with a full count delivery. Here it comes. Popped up center field, short. Coming in is the center fielder, and he makes the play to end the inning. So the Cubs go down in order. We go down to the bottom of the first of a scoreless ball game. Josh Van Meter against Brandon Woodruff here in the bottom of the first inning. Full count. Woodruff looking for the sign, and he will deliver the pitch. Swing and a miss, first strike three. That's going to be out number one. Woodruff now facing Aquino with one out, nobody on. One strike is the count. Woodruff delivering the pitch. Popped up to center, Grisham adjusting to his right. A few steps and making the catch for out number two. Moustakas now batting with two outs and nobody on. Moustakas with 18 home runs, but batting only 193 on the season. Here comes the pitch, a grounder toward first. Rizzo has it, he steps on the base, and the inning is over. So the Reds retired in order. We go to the top of the second. Still all zeros in Cincinnati. Miley facing Rizzo to lead off the top of the second inning for the Cubs. Two strikes is the count. Rizzo looking for the pitch. Here it comes, and Rizzo is hit. Man, Rizzo must have a big target painted on his back. He just got hit by a curveball, and he's going to take first. Bryant now the batter, runner on first, nobody out. Chris Bryant waiting for the 1-1 delivery. He's going to ground it over to third. The throw goes to second, the relay to first. That's a 5-4-3 double play. And just like that, the Cubs have two outs and nobody on base. Bryce Harper's the next batter. Harper with 16 home runs on the season. Waiting for the pitch from Miley. One and two is the count. Strike three at the knees and the inning is over. So the Cubs do not score. We go to the bottom of the second. Still scoreless here in Cincinnati. Brandon Woodruff against D.D. Gregorius. Full count. Payoff pitch. Here it comes. Woodruff delivers. Grounded up the middle. Correa has it. He throws to first. That is out number one. Castellanos down the batter with one out. Nobody on. Woodruff working. Here comes the pitch to Castellanos. And a grounder toward short. Correa has this one as well. The throw over to first. And he gets him by half a step for the second out of the inning. Suarez now batting with two outs and nobody on. Woodruff working two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss and the inning is over. So Woodruff strikes him out with the fastball. 
and that'll take us to the top of the third inning of a scoreless ball game. Santana facing Miley to lead off the top of the third inning. Santana, the switch hitter, batting from the right side against the lefty Miley. Here comes the pitch to Santana. He's going to golf that one into center field. That'll drop in for a base hit. That is the first base hit of this ball game as Santana reaches to lead off the top of the third inning for the Cubs. Santana now batting as Amaya, or Santana running the bases as Amaya steps up to the plate. We're going to be looking for a situation where we can steal a base here. There's a throw over to first as the Reds are thinking the same thing. Santana gets back no problem. Miley now pitching to Amaya. Here comes the delivery. That is low for ball one. That was a cut fastball. Try to steal second here. Oh, there's a, another pickoff play. Now we're going to try to steal second. Let's see what happens. That's a fastball, and Santana retreats back to first. So a one and one count now. Trying to steal the base again. He dives back safe. Dives back safely over to first. Amaya batting with a one and one count. Here comes the pitch. They pitch out, and Santana holds it first. He ignores the steal sign and holds, anticipating the pitch out. Well, here it comes. Here's the chance. There's a pitch. The throw goes down to second. Santana's going to slide in safely. No, Santana's out? What? That looked like he got in under the tag. So Santana's apparently retired at second base. Now there's one out and nobody on. So Miley facing Amaya, full count, here comes the pitch. Amaya grounds it over to first. The flip to the pitcher covering, and that is out number two. And now Woodruff bats with two outs and nobody on. One and two is the count to Woodruff. And he swings and misses, and the inning is over. So the Cubs do not score. We go to the bottom of the third of the 0-0 ball game. Tucker Barnhart leading off against Brandon Woodruff in the bottom of the third. Two and two is the count. Here comes the pitch. Popped up to center field, Grisham coming in. He adjusts somewhat to his right and makes the catch for out number one. Akiyama now batting with one out, nobody on. Two strikes is the count. Woodruff delivers the pitch. And a swing and a miss for strike three. That's going to be out number two. Woodruff now has three strikeouts on the day. Wade Miley steps up to the plate. The pitcher facing the pitcher with a one strike count. Bottom of the third inning. And a liner right at the second baseman Horner. He grabs it and the inning is over. The Reds retired in order once again. We go to the top of the fourth of a 0-0 contest. Nico Horner leading off against Wade Miley here in the top of the fourth inning. One and two is the count. Horner waits for the pitch. Lined into center field. Going back to the center fielder and it goes over his head and all the way to the wall. Horner's going to have extra bases. He goes into second as he cruises in with a stand-up double. That's going to extend his hitting streak to 13 games. Grisham now the batter with a runner on second, nobody out. Wade Miley with a one and two count. And there's a swing and a miss for strike three. So Grisham strikes out swinging. Carlos Correa now the batter. Runner on second, one out. Miley working, one and one is the count. And he hits him. So Correa takes his base. He's gonna head down to first as the trainer walks with him to examine his knee. But it looks like Correa is gonna remain in the game. Rizzo now batting with two with one out and two men on here in the top of the fourth inning. We're going to be looking to execute the double steal here. Let's see what happens. Here comes the pitch. Rizzo takes. The runners go. The throw down to second, and both runners are safe. So Correa now has three stolen bases on the season. Horner has 20, and the Cubs now have second and third with one out here in the top of the fourth inning. So Rizzo now facing Miley, full count. That's a grounder towards second. That's going to drive in the run. The Reds concede the run, taking the sure force out at first for the second out of the inning. one nothing Cubs now on the Rizzo ground out, and Chris Bryant's the next batter. Runner on third, two outs, top of the fourth inning. One and two is the count. Here comes the pitch to Chris Bryant, and he grounds it toward third. The throw goes over to first, and the inning is over as Bryant is retired to end the inning. So the Cubs do score. We go now to the bottom of the fourth of a one nothing ball game. Van Meter facing Woodruff here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Two strikes is the count. Here is the pitch. And strike three called at the knees. Van Meter just nods his head in disbelief. He heads back to the dugout. 
Four strikeouts now in the game for Woodruff here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Aquino the batter, one out, nobody on. First pitch to Arrestus Aquino, here it comes. Popped up center field, going back is Grisham toward the warning track and he makes the catch for out number two. Moustakas now batting, two outs and nobody on. Woodruff working to Moustakas, one and two is the count. Brandon Woodruff delivers the pitch and a pop up to center Chasing toward left center field is Grisham, and he makes the play, and the inning is over. So a fly out to the number eight position player ends the inning. We go to the top of the fifth of a one nothing ball game. Bryce Harper leading off against Wade Miley here in the top of the fifth. Two and two is the count. Here's the pitch to Harper. He lines that one over the first baseman's head into right field. That is going to be a leadoff single. Bryce Harper just recorded the Cubs' third hit of this ball game, and now Danny Santana is the batter. With a runner on first, nobody out. Miley facing Santano, 2-2 two -two count. Grounder past the third baseman in the left field. There's another base hit. Back-to-back -back singles for the Cubs to lead off the top of the fifth inning. And here's Miguel Amaya with two men on, nobody out. Cubs trying to extend this 1-0 lead here in the top of the fifth. Amaya waiting for the two-strike pitch. He swings and misses for strike three. So that's the first out of the inning. It'll bring up the pitcher Woodruff, and this is going to be an obvious bunt situation. Woodruff asked to lay down the sacrifice. Here comes the pitch. The bunt is laid down. It's dead and right in front of the plate. The catcher has it. He throws to first. That's his only play, and the sacrifice is successful. So now there's two outs. Runners on second and third. Nico Horner comes up to the plate. He is one for two today, batting 346 on the season with 11 home runs. Horner facing Miley. Two and one is the count. Here comes the pitch. Nico Horner lines that one in the right field. That's going to drive in a run. Horner stopping at first with a single. The throw comes home and two runs score. Nico Horner coming through with the two out RBI single giving the Cubs a three nothing lead here in the top of the fifth inning. Trent Grisham now batting. Runner on first, two outs. Still batting here in the top of the fifth inning. One ball is the count. Grisham lines that one into the gap in left center field, going all the way to the wall. Horner rounding second, heading for third. Is he going to try to score? Grisham is going to head into third with a triple, and Horner scores. That's an RBI for Grisham, and the Cubs now have a 4-0 lead in the top of the fifth inning. A two-out RBI triple by Trent Grisham. That's RBI number 58 for him on the season. And now the Cubs, with a 4-0 lead, send Carlos Correa up to the plate. Two outs, runner on third. Miley still on the mound. Full count. Here comes the pitch. Correa, he lines that one into center field. The diving play, and the center fielder has it to end the inning. That just saved another run. We go now to the bottom of the fifth. The Cubs score three times, taking a 4-0 lead. And now, Brandon Woodruff on the mound. Facing the four, five, six batters in the Reds lineup in the bottom of the fifth inning. Full count. Here comes the pitch. That is outside for ball four. So that is the Reds' first base runner of this ball game. The leadoff walk to Gregorius. And now Castellanos is the batter. Woodruff facing Castellanos with a runner on first. Nobody out. Here comes the three ball count and the pitch. That is high. He nearly hit him with that one. Back to back walks as Woodruff. Puts two men on base here in the bottom of the fifth inning. And that is going to lead to a pitcher being warmed up out of the bullpen. Specifically, we are going to be looking for... Oh, where is he here? Mr. Brent Suter. No, I'm sorry. Not Mr. Brent Suter. We are looking for Mr. Joe Jimenez. So, we're going to visit the mound, talk to Woodruff, make sure that he's still feeling okay. Yeah, he says he's feeling fine. Woodruff now facing Suarez with runners on first and second. Nobody out, bottom of the fifth inning. Back to back, back, to back walks by Woodruff, the first two he's issued in this ballgame. One and two is the count. Woodruff delivers the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. That was a changeup. Got him swinging for out number one. Barnhart now to bat With one out, two men on. Woodruff facing Barnhart, bottom of the fifth inning. 
protecting the four-run lead. Barnhart grounds it to second. The throw goes to short. The relay to first. There's a 4-6-3 double play. So the Cubs' Brandon Woodruff actually bounces back after issuing those leadoff walks. And now the Cubs take this 4-0 lead into the top of the sixth inning. Newtoff is the new pitcher for the Reds. He's coming out of the bullpen with a 2-1 record, 39 and a third innings thrown, 24 walks, 35 strikeouts, and a 5.03 ERA. Newtoff facing Rizzo in the top of the sixth inning. One strike is the count. He's looking for the sign, and here is the pitch. And Rizzo lines it into center field. Shortstop going back, and he's going to make the play in short center field for out number one. Bryant now the batter, one out, nobody on. Bryant waiting for the one and two pitch. And swing and a miss for strike three. That was a fastball down, and Bryant chased it for the second out of the inning. Harper now batting, two outs, nobody on. Harper one for two today, waiting for the three and one pitch. Harper takes ball four low and away, so that is a good eye by Harper to draw the two out walk, bringing up Danny Santana. Santana batting from the left side for the first time today. He's two for two. Facing Nudoff with a one and one count. Here comes the pitch. Santana lines that one into left field. Chasing the left fielder, plays it on the hop, and that's going to be a two out single, giving the Cubs first and second with two outs here in the top of the sixth inning. Miguel Amaya now the batter. Two outs, two men on. Nudoff facing Amaya with a chance to extend the lead in the top of the sixth. Full count to Amaya. Here comes the delivery. Check swing, strike three is called, and the inning is over. So the Cubs strand two. We're going to the top of the sixth inning of a 4-0 ball game. Woodruff back on the mound, facing Akiyama here in the bottom of the sixth. Cubs up by four. One and one is the count. Here comes the pitch. Akiyama pops it up to center field. Coming in fast is Grisham. He looks up and he makes the play for out number one. Senzel now the batter. He is going to pinch hit for the pitcher spot here in the bottom of the sixth. With one out, nobody on. Two strikes, the count. Woodruff delivering the pitch. And a grounder in front of the plate. Amaya pops out. He has it. He throws to first, and that is out number two. Van Meter now batting with two outs, nobody on. Woodruff working. One and one is the count. Brandon Woodruff with the delivery. And a pop-up. Short left field. Coming in is Santana. He makes the play, and the inning is over. So the Cubs retire the Reds in order. We go to the top of the seventh of a 4-0 ballgame. Woodruff leading off against the new Reds pitcher, R.J. Alanese, here in the top of the seventh inning. Alanese has thrown 10 and two-thirds innings, walked six, struck out 14 with a 7.59 ERA. Woodruff batting 0 for 1 today. Two strikes is the count. He also laid down a sacrifice. Here comes the pitch to Woodruff. And strike three called at the knees. That is out number one. Horner now batting with one out, nobody on. Alanese facing Horner. Here comes the delivery. Grounded towards short. Picked by the shortstop, thrown over to first. That is out number two. Grisham batting now. He's one for three with an RBI. Facing Alanese with two outs and nobody on. One strike is the count to Trent Grisham. And he drives that one to right field deep. Going back is the right fielder at the wall. He jumps and it clears the wall. So Trent Grisham just hit a solo home run, giving the Cubs 5-0 lead here in the top of the seventh inning. Home run number 16 on the season for Trent Grisham, 370 feet into the right field stands. So now Carlos Correa is the batter with two outs and nobody on. Alanis facing Correa. Full count. Here comes the delivery. And there's a line drive to deep left field. Going back to the left fielder, he looks up, and that's gone the opposite way. Back-to-back -back home runs by the Cubs here in the top of the seventh inning, giving them a 6 to nothing lead. So now 373 feet for Correa, and that is a 6 nothing Cub lead. Correa with 21 home runs on the season. Anthony Rizzo now the batter. Two outs, nobody on. Alanis facing Rizzo. One ball is the count. Here comes the pitch to Anthony Rizzo. And Rizzo drives it deep to right. I think that's going to be three in a row. The Cubs have just hit three consecutive home runs here in the top of the seventh inning. Man, that is back to back to back. 392 feet, giving the Cubs a 7-0 lead. And Anthony Rizzo has just 
got the longest home run of this sequence as he hit that about 20 rows deep into the right field bleachers. Chris Bryant now at bat with two outs, nobody on. Bryant, let's see if he can extend this to four straight home runs. Allen, he's facing Bryant. Two and one is the count. Here's the delivery. Bryant golfs that one into right field. It's deep, it's hard hit, it's off the wall. Man, Bryant hit that one a ton, but he's gonna have a double for his trouble. And he is gonna cruise into second with a two out extra base hit. Bryce Harper now the batter. Two outs, runner on second, about top of the seventh inning. Three runs already in. Allen, he's facing Harper. One strike is the count. Here comes the pitch. Lined into right field. That's going to drop in for the base hit. Harper will have an RBI double, it looks like, as Bryant slides in safely to home. That's an 8-0 Cub lead here in the top of the seventh inning. And this has all occurred with two outs in the top of the seventh. Now, Matt Bush is coming in out of the Reds' bullpen. Bush relieving Alanese with 11 and two-thirds innings thrown, five walks, 11 strikeouts, and a 4.63 ERA. Bush facing Santana, who is three for three today, with a runner on second, Cubs up by eight. Here comes the pitch. Bush looking for the sign. Here's the delivery. Popped up center field. I think this is going to end the inning. The center fielder coming in. He looks up and puts it away for the third out. It's time to stretch here in Cincinnati. We're going to the bottom of the seventh of an 8-0 ball game. Arrestus Aquino steps up to the plate now, facing Brandon Woodruff in the bottom of the seventh inning. Woodruff facing Aquino. Two and two is the count. Here comes the pitch. A swing and a miss for strike three. That is out number one. And strikeout number six for Brandon Woodruff as Mike Moustakas now steps up to the plate. One out, nobody on. Woodruff working. One and two is the count. Here's the pitch to Moustakas. And a pop-up to right. Coming in fast is Harper. He looks up and he makes the play for out number two. Gregorius now the batter. Two outs and nobody on. Woodruff working to Gregorius. One and two is the count. Here comes the pitch. Strike three called on the outside corner and the inning is over. That's seven strikeouts on the day. For Brandon Woodruff, the Reds are retired in order. We go to the top of the eighth with the Cubs up by eight. Miguel Amaya now leading off for the Cubs here in the top of the eighth inning. Facing Bush, who is continuing to work in relief for the Reds. Popped up to right center field. Coming in, the right fielder makes the play for out number one. Woodruff now batting. He's getting his third at bat of the day. Excuse me, his fourth at bat of the day. He's 0 for 2 with a sacrifice. Bush facing Woodruff with a two-strike count. Here comes the pitch. And strike three is called. So that's out number two. And now with two outs and nobody on, the Cubs send Nico Horner up to the plate in the top of the eighth inning of an 8-0 ball game. Horner, two for four with two RBIs, waiting for the first pitch from Matt Bush. Here it comes. And a grounder towards short. Picked up, thrown over to first. That is going to end the inning. So the Cubs do not score. We go to the bottom of the eighth of an 8-0 ball game. Woodruff on the mound, facing off with Nick Castellanos here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Woodruff is going to face the five, six, seven batters in the Reds lineup here in the bottom of the eighth. Woodruff working. Three and one is the count. Here comes the pitch to Castellanos. That's way outside. That is ball four. So Woodruff issues the leadoff walk. And now Suarez is the batter. And this is going to see activity in the Cub bullpen. And we are going to have Ian Hamilton warmed up for this situation. Woodruff now faces Suarez. With a runner on first, nobody out, bottom of the eighth. Woodruff working. Here comes the first pitch to Suarez. And it's popped up center field. Coming in is Grisham. He chases and makes the play for out number one. The runner holding at first, not attempting to tag up, and now Tucker Barnhart's the batter. One out, one man on. Woodruff facing Barnhart here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Full count, here comes the delivery. Ground, oh, lined right at Rizzo at first base. Oh, Rizzo, with excellent reactions, gets that ball out of the air for the second out of the inning. He almost had a chance to double off Castellanos there at first. And now Akiyama's the batter. 
with two outs and the runner still on first. Woodruff facing Akiyama. Here comes the first pitch. And that gets away. It's a wild pitch. The runner's going to head down to second. Castellanos advancing. Actually, that's called a passed ball. And now Akiyama batting with two outs and a runner in scoring position. Woodruff working. Two and one is the count. Here comes the pitch to Akiyama. And it's a pop-up to right field. Harper chasing. He comes in and he makes the play to end the inning. So the Reds do not score. They strand a runner. We go to the top of the ninth of an 8 nothing ball game. And now Trent Grisham coming up to the plate to lead off against Bush here in the top of the ninth inning. Three and one is the count. Here comes the pitch to Grisham. And that is outside for ball four. So the curveball misses away and Grisham has a leadoff walk. Carlos Correa now the batter. Runner on first, nobody out. Correa facing Bush, full count. Here's the pitch. That is strike three called on the outside corner. That is out number one. So Correa heads back to the dugout, bringing up Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo with a home run today is going to face the new red pitcher, Brandon White. With 32 innings thrown, White has 29 strikeouts, 34 walks, and a 6.75 ERA. White faces Rizzo with one out, runner on first. Here comes the first pitch to Anthony Rizzo. White looking for the side and working from the stretch. And it's driven out to right center field. Rizzo has two home runs in this ball game. A 10-0 lead now for the Cubs in the top of the ninth inning. And the Anthony Rizzo has hit a 409-foot home run, number 18 on the season for him. The Cubs now with the 10-0 lead, sending Chris Bryant up to the plate. He is one for four today, facing White here in the top of the ninth inning. Full count pitch to, Ant to Chris Bryant. Here it comes. Swing and a miss for strike three. That's out number two. And... White has his first strike out of this appearance, which brings up Bryce Harper. With two outs and nobody on, Harper facing White here in the top of the ninth. Full count, here comes the delivery. Lined up the middle, that's gonna be a base hit. Bryce Harper beating the shift by lining it in a center field for a two out single. And now with Harper on first, Danny Santana comes up. He's three for four today. Santana faces White with two outs and a runner on first in the top of the ninth inning. Two runs already in, here comes the pitch. Santana grounds it to short. They throw to first, and the inning is over. So we go to the bottom of the ninth with the Cubs up by 10. And now Brandon Woodruff coming out to try to finish off this ball game. He is going to start out by facing Joey Votto off the Reds bench. Votto is pinch hitting for the pitcher's spot. He has thrown six home runs, 22 RBIs, and a 196 batting average on the season. Votto leading off against Woodruff. Here comes the first pitch from Brandon Woodruff and the delivery, and he hits him. So Votto takes one to the shoulder. He's going to head down to first. And now Woodruff is going to work from the stretch against Van Meter. With a runner on first, nobody out. This will see activity in the Cub bullpen once again. Ian Hamilton again being brought up to warm up potentially come into this ball game. Van Meter now batting for the Reds. The lefty Van Meter, who is 0 for 3 today, facing Woodruff in the bottom of the ninth inning. Runner on first, nobody out. Full count delivery. Here comes the pitch. That is strike three called. The umpire rings him up. Van Meter cannot believe it. That changeup barely caught the outside corner, so that's out number one. Arrestus Aquino now the batter. Aquino with one out, one man on. Facing Woodruff. One and two is the count. Woodruff delivers. Swing and a miss for strike three. Brandon Woodruff gets the strikeout on a big curveball there. And that is strikeout number nine on the day for Brandon Woodruff. Mike Moustakas now is the batter with the Reds down to their final out. A runner on first. Two outs, bottom of the ninth inning. Woodruff working. Here comes the first pitch to Mike Moustakas. And it's a drive to right. Harper chasing down the line. I think he's going to have room, and he makes the play. And Brandon Woodruff throws a no-hitter for the Cubs here in the first game of the series against the Cincinnati Reds. Brandon Woodruff has just thrown what I believe is his first no-hitter of his career. The Cubs, Brandon Woodruff, is in fact the player of the game. He went nine shutout innings, walking three, 
hitting one, and striking out nine in this ball game. Woodruff threw 115 pitches. He earns the win. He goes to 1-0. Wade Miley suffers the loss. He drops to 9-7 with five innings thrown of six-hit, four-run baseball with four strikeouts. The Cubs for today also had Anthony Rizzo, who went four for or two for four with two home runs. And Bryce Harper went three for four. Just a big hitting day for the Cubs all the way around. They got 10 runs on 14 hits with no errors. The Reds, no runs, no hits, no errors. And Brandon Woodruff, again, getting his first win as a Chicago Cub, throwing the no-hitter here in Cincinnati. So the Cubs improved to 77-45 and 45 as the Reds dropped to 55-65. and 65. Thank you for watching Replacement Player Baseball.